Good morning, everyone. Um, the last clip that you saw was me writing down my schedule because I got my schedule and I was so happy that morning. So I just filmed me getting coffee and I wrote down my schedule. And that's the same day that they released um, some modules. It was a couple of videos, but one wasn't playing. Um, but like a few days later, it ended up playing perfectly fine. And I took a couple notes. So I'm going to share with you the notes that I took. It was about um, critical thinking in the nursing profession and I think every nursing program um, emphasizes that portion and because I've seen a couple of videos saying that it's a very important uh, aspect in nursing and you really have to pay attention to detail. So I, I, I took notes and I figured that that was a very important thing to know. So I will be looking over the over those notes like as I go in the semester because it, it seems like very crucial information and I don't know I just figured that that if I write it down now I don't have to look back at the video later and have to take notes on it all over again so I did take notes and I would like to share with you the notes that I took um, also I wrote down my schedule so I'm gonna share with you my schedule I did post um, a little clip of my orientation because the orientation was on a video conference call so there really wasn't much to film it was just people it was just the administration talking and I didn't really want to put any faces on the internet that don't want to be on the internet so I just left it at that and I did it in the comfort of my own bed so it was interesting because it was the morning and I was tired so I was in my PJs but it was very important information they gave us the information on uniforms so I went ahead and I bought my uniform um, and I think I'm almost set for the supply haul I do have um, I, I am missing my books but other than that I think I'm perfectly fine um, I do want to buy a couple of notebooks, but that's just like normal school stuff that anyone would have. So I don't think I'm going to be showing you like everything that I got. I think I'm just going to show you like the nursing essentials. Um, but yeah, so I think I might film that also today because I have most of the stuff. I'm just really missing the books and a nursing bag that my school is actually requiring us to have here at home. Um, I did order it because they didn't have it in stock in the bookstore so I still have to wait for it to come in but I think when it comes in I'm just gonna show you guys I don't think I have to put it in the video um, but yeah that's the current situation that we're in I did also go to I did a lot of stuff I did also go to the doctor and I got blood analysis done and I put in all the information into a system for the school I didn't really film that process. I think I did film like a little video of me saying hi in the doctor's office. But I didn't film that process because I was in like a in a hurry because the, the due date was coming up and I had to get all these things done before the due date unless they dropped my classes. So I was worried. But they did um, emphasize in the in the orientation that if we haven't done so yet that it's okay because obviously we're in the middle of a pandemic and it's a little last minute especially like me that I found out that I got into the program a little later than other people so it was like okay I have a short span of time to do all these things that other people got to do for weeks now um, but it's okay like I didn't compare myself or anything I just wanted to get everything done by the due date um and that's what i did so i'm gonna show you my schedule and i'm gonna show you my notes and we'll see if i'll show you a couple of other things in this video but we'll see so guys i did use the notability app on my ipad to take notes um so these are pretty much the notes that i took it just spoke about critical thinking and how to apply it into nursing school into wow why did i sound like i was doing like a tour um and how to apply it into nursing school so right here we have decision making in the nursing processes 
Um, so basically when you recognize clues, it means assessment, generating hypothesis, um, doing a diagnosis, judging hypothesis, planning, taking action, implementation, evaluating outcomes and evaluation. And this is just recognizing the cues. Um, I did start this because this is important. Uh, recognizing the cues meaning what caused this what is the reason why is this happening so next we have analyzing cues which is pretty much relating the recognizing cues to what's going to happen next the relationship between information presented so what okay so what caused this why is this happening and maybe it's from the disease they have maybe it's from the prescription that they have and just putting together data to come with a conclusion or making a hypothesis and this is obviously a hypothesis is an educated guess uh, <laughs> but um, identifying highest risk prioritizing, prioritizing order of care and teaching concepts and this is where you do okay what is what is it that we have to do next now you generate solutions okay this is what we're gonna do what what's gonna help for the problem and then taking action is actually putting those um, things into play and reading doctor's orders is part of a taking action. And now you just evaluate what did you do? What did you learn? How did this help? And this is all the process of decision making. And I wrote this down that critical thinking is equal to critical analysis and it's to seek answers um, and then I just took a picture of what they showed us on the slide. Uh, collaborative problems and how to differentiate a nursing diagnosis from a collaborative, collaborated problem, which is um, what you analyze to determine complications or monitor or detect changes in status. So the situation is identified. Can the nurse legally order the primary interventions to achieve the goal? Yes, they can. Nursing diagnosis, prescribe and execute interventions that are um, definitive or prevention treatment or health promotion. And then if it's no, are the medical and nursing interventions needed to achieve the patient goal? If no, the patient is discharged. If yes, you have a collaborative problem, you monitor and evaluate condition, you implement um, the prescription. Prescript, uh, you implement the prescriptive orders and prescribe and implement interventions that are in the domain of nursing. And then this is just more notes on that. And yeah, that's another picture that I, that I took. Also, I wanted to hop on here because I just got one of my books from Amazon. Um, it came in yesterday, but during the night, so I didn't have the light um but this is one of the books that is required for one of my classes and yeah i just wanted to show you it is a rental i did rent it on amazon so i do have to um send it back when the semester ends but this is one of the books for the classes so guys this is my schedule i start on september 1st and i finish on december 18th from 7.30 to 8.50 on Tuesday, I have Intro to Pharmacology. And then from 11 to 1.30, I have Fundamentals of Nursing Lecture. And then on Thursday, I have from 8 to 9, Adult Health Assessment um, Lecture. And then from 9 to 10.45, I have the lab. And then at... Sorry. And then at 1 o'clock to 2 p.m., I have Fundamental Skill Lab Lecture. And then from 2 to 3.45, I have the Fundamental Skill Lab Lab. Um, and then on Fridays is when I have clinical um, from 7 to 3 o'clock. But for right now, it will be on a simulation. So I also want to film my experience and how that goes for me um, as well on my channel. So yeah, this is my schedule. And there you go. You get a glimpse of my schedule.